This Engineering is Elementary digital how-to will demonstrate the calibration and use of spring scales from the unit Marvelous Machines, making work easier. The chapters in this video show how to zero a spring scale and how to use it to measure force for lessons 3 and 4. We recommend zeroing all the spring scales used at each simple machine station before students begin any testing. First, gather all the spring scales that will be used for the simple machine stations in your classroom. Examine each spring scale to check that the red tab used to measure the force is at the position for zero. If the red tab is already at the zero line, then the spring scale is calibrated and ready to be used. If the red tab is above or below the zero line for any spring scale, then that scale will need to be adjusted for its measured forces to be accurate. Hold the spring scale and slide the face plate inside the scale body until the red tab is aligned with the zero position. For this spring scale, the face plate is being pushed inward or lowered to align the red tab with the zero line. For this second spring scale, the faceplate is being pulled outward or raised to align the red tab with the zero line. Repeat these steps for all the spring scales that need zeroing. This video shows how to use a spring scale and take a measurement by moving an attached load by hand. This baseline measurement is done before using each simple machine. Attach the spring scale to the load and hold on to the ring of the spring scale to move the load the required distance. As the load is being moved, watch the red tab on the spring scale and read the number that matches the position of the red tab. Any spring scale measurements should be recorded in newtons. This same procedure is used when the load is being moved by hand vertically as well as horizontally. Students should measure the force needed to move the load by hand before using each simple machine. We recommend showing students how to measure force with a spring scale by moving a load by hand before they experiment in lesson 3. 